Yo, you ever wonder what it's like to be an artist in Miami, Florida, as a black man at that? I'm gonna make you find out. I'm releasing a single in the next six weeks. I'm gonna take you through the process of me releasing this single. First things first, um, we're gonna do a release party. Speak of the devil. This is Blink. Yo, brother. Yo, what happened? Well, going, bro? Everything good? Um, I was trying to throw like a, a release party for the single, probably in the next six weeks or so, month to six weeks. Mm -hmm. Somebody just you want to pick your brain for see like what, like what we need to do in order to make that happen. The biggest thing I would probably say is like you should probably sit down and figure out what you want to get like out of that experience, right? Okay. So like. You, are you trying to do something like big or small? Something relatively small, intimate. I was thinking like a mid-sized crowd. I would probably say focus on the venue experience. Yeah. You know, like, are you going to have any kind of installations or is there any activities? Mm. Is it you know, just going to be music and networking? Like, there's tons of different ways you can go about it, right? It's really um, going to depend on obviously like your budget or any other restrictions yeah you know, venue and then like who's actually in the room so an event that you plan for industry people might look different than an event that you plan for like close friends because um, going back to what we were saying the last time we talked i wanted to kind of um act as somewhat of a networking event too so like people there can network with each other obviously the purpose of the night is to is um, for the single and for the songs that I'm trying to do but I'm trying to invite specific people that might work well with each other as well if that makes sense what you recommend for like this type of vibe a weekday type of vibe or a weekend anytime Monday through Thursday like I would say would probably be the best if you really want mm -hmm. industry people to be there or if it's like during the day on a Sunday or during the day on a Saturday mm -hmm. it might be a little bit easier but the biggest thing I would focus on is like finding out like finding out what is it what it is that you actually want to get from the event mm -hmm. you know? and then once you figure that out then you figure out okay, what you want people to get from the event that are coming there mm -hmm. so if you want them to just figure out who you are, if you want them to network, if you want them to, you know, start playing the song, if you want them, you know, that's, I, I think we talked about this before, where I was like, you know, kind of figuring out your audience, right? Like yeah. Every, every, like, every artist is made for the club. Some artists, their stuff is just for movies and TV. Some yeah. artists, their stuff is just online. Mm -hmm. Some stuff is just for the car. Some stuff, so, you know, once you know your audience and you know, what will benefit you the most. So you might not need quote unquote industry people there. You might need some people there to have a good vibe and network and mm -hmm. like learn who you are and mm -hmm. the music is kind of secondary. All right, boom. So you hear what Blink just said, right? These are the goals for the release party. I need to figure out what's in it for me um, and what's in it for the attendees. And overall, try to curate uh, a dope experience, which I think I can do. So I'm going to try to keep it simple, simple, nice, and enjoyable. Short and sweet. Episode 1. New artist in Miami. Boom.